The various mineral particles found in sand are hard enough not only to polish hard stones like granite, but also to do what ancient aliens tries to make people think is utterly impossible, that is, to cut granite. The Egyptians had a variety of ways to cut granite, mostly involving copper and sand. There are plenty of saw marks on granite stones in Egypt, at the granite quarries, of course, as well as certain notable ones, like the famous granite sarcophagus in the Great Pyramid. The person who was doing the sawing on the sarcophagus sawed for a while at the wrong angle before realizing his mistake and going in the right direction, which left a pretty big mark for us to study. These copper saws came in three basic styles. One was a two-person saw, like an old-time lumber saw. Another type was a small, handheld saw with a wooden handle. And finally, there was a tubular saw for making holes in granite and other stones. These saws are depicted in several Egyptian reliefs. Interestingly, they didn't require saw teeth to work. They only required sand to be placed between the saw and the stones. The sand was what did the cutting. This particular method of stone cutting has been tested by ancient Egyptian tool experts. And not only was it done, but it was apparently quite easy to do. However, sawing granite with copper was expensive because the copper would wear out somewhat quickly. Therefore, you mostly see granite in ancient Egypt being worked with pounding stones, finished with grinders and chisels. The saw work was reserved primarily for royal projects, like that of the sarcophagus.